Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sicker Fab. In light of recent changes, we are going to be changing up our product lineup. As you can see, or maybe you don't know, this is just tint over the factory emblem. So this right here is dark smoke. I'll be doing an installation with light smoke just so you can see the difference. That's what it looks like though. Knocks out a lot of this chrome. Let me peel this one off. I installed this one this morning. Let's see how good of a job I did just this morning, but got it to sit nice around those edges. All right, now I got it. See, it comes off when you want it to. Still a little wet in the middle over time. That would have dried up in the sun. Uh, we will be using our SickFab application fluid. We're gonna be using a microfiber cloth. I will be cleaning this off. I think I have, um, I have some speed wipe detailer that does not leave any residue. So we'll get this nice and clean before we install that. And I have a small um, heat gun. Uh, it's only 300 watts, so I can hook it up to the inverter inside our vehicle. I'll turn the vehicle on and we'll use that to help get the vinyl to form around there, stick really nicely. And um, it'll be a little bit lighter than this. We do have other materials as well. We'll start with the dark smoke and then the light smoke. Probably do the matte stealth. Um, and I'll, I think now that we will be down to a lot less skews, I will try to get a lot of these photos um, of specific variants uh, out there on our website. All right, so here we go now. Uh, I am officing uh, out of our normal office. I'm uh, not gonna be working from home much. so. We are using the AC inverter, like I said, for this small um, heat gun right here. Uh, it does draw up to 300 watts. Uh, maximum output of that plug up there uh, in the center uh, is 400 watts. So I do have the vehicle on. Sorry about the extra noise. For reference, this is light smoke. This is dark smoke. This is what we had on it before. Got my microfiber cloth right here. Actually, I have one in my pocket. I'll just keep this one right there, top of the gym bag. I will get this out. I do recommend having this. I do recommend using our application fluid. That will come in handy. The hair dryer or a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. We'll uh, dry this out. You want to use like the bare minimum amount of heat necessary to get the install done. First, I'm going to clean this application area. Like I said, that doesn't have any wax in it at all. Got so many things in my pocket. Okay, there we go. We'll just leave that guy right there. Stay. Next, you want to make sure your hands are clean because you will be touching the back of this. So you don't want that to cause your fingerprints to show up on the back of it. I'm going to peel it back a little bit. It's not too breezy right now. Spray the rest of this. Spray the application area. Now, take my sunglasses off so we can get serious here. Gonna center it up. Left, right, top, bottom. Checking that initial alignment. All right, now I have it pretty aligned. That's why I'm gonna apply a little bit of heat at a time. We wanna dry up all that fluid out from behind it, but we don't want the vinyl to stretch too much. It is the right size as we cut it. Just hitting it, a little blast. All right, the temperature is 88 degrees here. I am doing this in the shade so it doesn't, oops, apply any more heat than I want. 70 to 80 degrees is the temperature I like to install these at. You can see the methods I'm using, applying 
straight down pressure, stretching it outwards. Insulation is going a little bit faster than it did this morning when it was a little cooler. Now towards the bottom, this is where all the liquid tends to build up. So it takes a little bit longer for it to dry up from the bottom. You guys in cold places will have a hard time doing this if you don't wait until it's at least a little bit warm. You can feel that liquid coming out. The more patience you have, the better this install looks right off the bat. Either way, it should dry up in the sun as long as you make sure you get the edges down properly. And if they tend to peel up just a little bit, go away, come back, heat cycle it again, push down. Turn this off. Pretty happy with that. Everything is pushed down. The sun will do the rest. Let me move some of this stuff so you can get a clear view of what it all looks like now. There you have it. If you go back to the beginning of this video, you'll see that the dark smoke definitely darker. This just knocks out the chrome just a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of light smoke, but in this application, I think it's unique and subtle. So please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are working on for the 2021 20, and up Ford Bronco. Thanks.